afternoon or evening. My name is David Castillo and welcome back to a new video for this channel. At uh, this time we are going to give you the best tips for the Drawing Tool Certification exam. This exam is one of the easiest one on the whole universe for the your path on the mechanical design certification. Uh, but even if it's, it's easier than the other ones, it either have uh, a couple of uh, complications, uh, you have to master a couple of techniques, and let's get and see how it's to present this exam. First of all, we got 20 questions. Each question with a value of 20 points. You have uh, 200 uh, points uh, for, for uh, the total of the exam. You have to pass with 150 points, the 75%, and you have 100 minutes to perform this exam. There's a couple of basic topics. You can consult that topics on the sample preparation exam. Also, I will show you with some examples uh, what you can find on the either the sample exam and the final exam. But basically, there are a couple of topics that you have to master. First of, all, uh, first of all, you have uh, it's better to master these topics because uh, as you have 20 questions to answer and 100 minutes, you have to do it fast and know what features to perform. Uh, one of the examples and topics that we are going to do during this exam is the basic views, that is the as we know, the frontal, the back, the right views, the normal ones, the symmetric ones. Also, according from the basic views, we have to generate a projection view. We have to generate section views from a different standpoints. You can have, as you know, as a vertical or horizontal line for a section, but also a three, a three points line. To, see, to generate a, a projection view from that, a relative, pre, a relative view, an alternate views from, uh, from each view. Uh, generate, sometimes you need to generate advanced view that you have to crop to the view or you have to split the view, depending is, uh, on what is asking. Manipulate uh, some uh, sketch elements or you ha or have to translate uh, some view into a sketch element and get this uh, sketch element inside another view. Maybe it's it's a possibility possibility to do that. Also, you have to to master the build of materials, the kinds of sorting that you have uh, for for the build of materials. You have also equations and the option to in, inside the bill of materials doing uh, manipulating as an Excel file and you can add equations and add uh, operations like, uh, like additions, subtractions, multiplications, etc. Uh, you have to master the option of show and hide elements from a view or from the build of materials. Uh, one important thing is the uh, vinculating notes to or attach a note to an, a specific view. This, this thing is uh, really, really important. And, and also, uh, uh, you have another option. Let's, uh, I will show you in the screen this example of an assembly from the sample exam. And what I show you, it's a couple of exercises that you will perform 
first of all, uh, as you know, it's really, really important to uh, work uh, in, this, in this channel with the sample exam that is public, not the real uh, examples for the real exam. So uh, it is, uh, I, I can don't, uh, So we don't make sheets uh, during the exam and you have our, uh, an option, an equal option to pass as everyone else. Uh, first of all, I will show uh, an individual part and this simple part, we have to translate it into the drawing. So I can show you some of the features you must know, or you must uh, master before the exam. And uh, first of all, as regular, we have these basic views, these regular views. It's either in this case is frontal one, but you have to master the project, the projection view, and in the, this next example, the auxiliary view. This auxiliary view is based on an edge or a reference inside the model, and from that reference, we have a projection from that. Uh, then one of the other features is the section view and as I show you, you have a vert um, vertical option. In this case, I will show with vertical and it's like to see uh, an inside code uh, into the solid, but you not only have uh, this vertical option, you have horizontal trim points, you have to distinguish between this inside parts and be conscious to obtain some uh, specific surface sections inside these cuts it's very important to to get the mastering of this and to solve with some answers for this exam uh, and sometimes uh, a piece is not a regular one and when you don't have a regular piece you have to uh, set uh, some specific view or some uh, specific plane to set the view. Uh, as, and this example is to a relative view. I will set some like the orientation of the part and I will set the front and the right for this case. And this will be this, this uh, upper plane of the hole as the front part. And for the right one, I will choose the base of this part, but uh, this example show you that at any time you can force to have a, a view with set it, uh, where, where you can set a specific plate, planes, either is not the, the natural ones. And this at some point, this will be very, very important either for the exam on for the real real life exercises that you have to have a relative plain view and because sometimes you need to perform some machine operation in there so sometimes uh, you will be asked to rotate the model from the required view and you can have a normal view from uh, some specific plane and you can set it from that normal view and a specific view or a name new view in this case i will add a name for this generating view and adding this view with the same view i made on the model sometimes it's uh, another kind of way that you can do that or this operation of relative views. Both ways could work depending on uh, how it's best fit for your, uh, for your technique.
and then well also uh, having an approach of the dimensioning you can add uh, automatic uh, dimensioning from the model and you can select what kind of operation will be displayed the dimension in there and as a reminder for this uh, you you need to double check the dimension showed because sometimes could be duplicated or sometimes you don't have all the dimension yeah you want to show uh, this automatic uh, dimensioning it's a, a easy way to have a quickly the, the dimension shown but you need sometimes you need to do a, a review while double check to add or remove as needed the dimensions getting back into the assembly or the top level for this part uh, also you need to do uh, a, a drawing for an assembly and the main purpose of a drawing assembly is to show the bill of materials and sometimes uh, during the exam or during your daily basis of, uh, of work uh, you need to so, uh, to show the bill of material with some specific uh, uh, properties and sorting thing of the parts so you have a lot of options to do this and you need to do that very very carefully so i will do a drawing from this assembly First of all, I will add the isometric view and with that isometric view, I have a couple. First of all, you have options as configurations and you can select the best configuration that uh, will show your, your views. Then to activate the bill of materials, you need to be very careful of what you're doing because you can either show the only top level or a part level only the the operation you have a couple of options during the the grouping of the part and you can show different configuration as only one part or different items as different configurations that you have and you need to be very careful with that and read carefully the instruction of the exam uh, this example I have an automatic BOM, but sometimes you need uh, to add some specifics or uh, manipulate the BOM as some specific request. So with this time, I, I noticed that I don't have the part number, so I will insert a column with the property of part number. And as you can see, there's a, another name configuration inside this this BOM also I have a part number but this part number com column so more like a description and I have another description and I have another kind of name so this part number is more uh, a name uh, it's a file naming thing but I have a part number with a uh, number code that it's a uh, for the purpose of the exam, sometimes it's what you really need or what you really need to be. Also, as I show you, you can have the option to show and hide elements inside an assembly. This, uh, on a daily basis, it will be very, very careful, uh, very helpful to show some things during the assembly or during the view. Uh, during the exam, maybe you will ask to some specific value, so you will need to insert a specific columns as the exam request. And first of all, the most important is, uh, as I showed you earlier, how is uh, the grouping or the quantity of items that you need. You need to read carefully the instruction or the instruction of the exam to set that option of the grouping uh, right. And well, this is the most important for this exam. 
I hope you that this will be help you for you and and if this video is help you helpful please uh, like it and share it and we'll see you in another video for this channel for this time for this video it's goodbye